Hello, hello everyone, how's it going? It's me, Jaylene, also known as M4. I have a ball talking about balls, so I kind of wanted to actually make a video about testicle play. I shall go over two key things in terms of knowing the best pleasure for your partner or yourself. Number one, we're first going to uncover the facts and the education of the ball's pleasure. And with all that knowledge, we're going to go into how to pleasure the testes during sexy time. Number one, let's go over the facts. Balls are sensitive, we all know this. But where is the sensitivity coming from? Like most parts of our bodies, the balls are covered with a layer of epidermis, i.e. skin, that is not necessarily too sensitive, but more so the sensitivity is coming from the gonads, i.e. the two balls that you will feel in the testicular sac itself. And even though there are nerves in the epidermis, and you'll be seeing this here as we keep talking, but it's not gonna be as sensitive, the skin that's holding around the balls as, let's say, the shaft of the penis, which is generally what you stimulate for penile pleasure. Like I was talking about before, there are the sensitive part in the gonads themselves, which I will have here in my beautiful little testicular diagram of nylon and ping pong balls. Generally, most testes, they'll have two lumps that you will feel kind of through the skin. So basically, the black nylon is the epidermis, i.e. the skin, and the gonads are the ping pong balls themselves. The testes are usually flexible with movement, either being able to kind of pull up towards the body or relax away from the body. This is to protect the spermies from any sort of temperature shock. How cool is that? The posterior scrotal nerve is also at play while you're touching the testes. It is located behind in the back of the testes, so imagine this is a shaft of the penis going out front, and it comes from the actual the perineum, which travels up from behind near the anal region, that's where a lot of anal pleasure comes from from penis owners, and travels up into behind the balls. Even though the perineum kind of actually goes into more the base of the shaft, it doesn't actually go into the testicular sac itself, there's a posterior scrotal nerve that kind of arms off, branches off into behind here. Last but not least, we also have the perineal raphe, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. It comes from basically a line of skin that starts at the anal region, travels kind of behind the balls, up towards, and stops short before the shaft area. As you can see here in the nylon, it kind of shows it a little bit. I like to say this is almost a highway of where the perineal nerve kind of runs. So it starts kind of where the anal region is, goes all up towards the base of the shaft. So I like to say, pay some attention there. Now that we have the facts, let's talk about the fun stuff how to pleasure the balls. Now, I like to think of testes as a little bit of something of ping pong balls, so i.e. what I have here. One way I like to think of a way of massaging them is holding them basically in either one hand, as you can do it, or two hands, it really depends, and having them in your hand like this, and almost circling them, massaging them, kind of rotating the one ball with the one finger, moving them around. So they're kind of massaging and pressing against each other. And it's almost the game I like to think of if you're gonna think about it with holding ping pong balls. You're kind of circulating them into your hand and your grasp, but you're not dropping them. I'll do one more closer look here. So basically having two balls in your hand, and using kind of your thumb and your forefinger to kind of circulate and kind of push that around and circle them around each other a little bit. There is also the aspect of pushing and pulling the balls up and down. What I mean by that is having your hand basically cupping them. So these are the balls here. Let's say the shaft of the penis is facing out this way. We're going to take our hand and kind of place it like this. I sometimes think it's a little bit more comfortable to be facing almost the same way that your partner would be facing in terms of if they're going to be fondling and handling their balls. Once you have your hand cupped like this, all nice and comfortably, what you're going to be kind of doing is kind of slowly pulling them away and pushing them up kind of rhythmically massaging them against your partner's body because generally their two legs will be just right here. So it'll be almost kind of a nice tight space for them to kind of roll around and gain some pleasure. I.e. using the gonads, the little massage tools, to basically almost stimulate a little bit of a massage, pulling them up and down and kind of pushing them into the body to not only stimulate the post-scrotal nerve, but also the perineum nerve as well. Not only does this kind of motion massage, but if you're putting the balls into closer proximity to the shaft, it actually gives your penis owning part a better chance at climaxing. So, when you think the finishing line is near, don't pull away, pull closer. Unless you want to last longer. Do you remember the perineal raffi, i.e. the line of the testes I was telling you earlier? With this perineal raffi, I like to think of running your finger from the back, so kind of where that perineum is up towards the front near the shaft, or you can use your tongue as well. And this is kind of almost bringing the awareness of the sensations from the perineal nerve closer towards the shaft. It kind of makes your partner a little bit more conscious of those sensations. Make sure you also don't miss when you're cupping the balls that your fingers that are located conveniently behind the balls 
Press up towards where the perineal nerve hotspot is externally on the body, right behind the balls there. Make sure you kind of start a little bit slow though with pressure because some people are a little bit more sensitive to it than others. Be sure to contact me for a coaching session. Links are below if you're wanting to kind of discover a little bit more about how to pleasure your partner or yourself. And if you like this video, make sure you actually click like on this video to help the Fem Forth community grow and as well subscribe to this channel because I know I have a ball making the free sex education, but I love it even more when I know that you like watching it. Thanks for watching everyone. It's me, Jaylene Femforth. Mwah.